We may be, we don't know this, but we may be the very best, the most intricate thing that a universe might have evolved within it. It might never be better than this. Curious creatures with a sense of wonder and hope and sometimes altruism and empathy, right? Nothing else in the universe might ever have the potential that we have, right? And we have to make sure we don't cock that up. Now this big dish here has obviously spawned a baby that's floated over there. So today, at the centre of the solar system. Now, you're not in school, you don't have to put your hand up in questions. If you know the answer, if you've got some ideas, just shout them out to me. And I used to sit there going, oh, wouldn't it be amazing if we could read everyone's mind? Wouldn't it be amazing if we all had telepathy and knew what everyone thought? And now we have Twitter, and actually, <laughs> it's not as encouraging as we might have hoped, right? The height of the mountains, the lows of the hills, the rolls of the valley, the sound of running water. I tried it, that's true. <laughs> It's a slow burn of a joke that, it's mostly for me. Uh, go and try it outside if you'll see whether that's true. But 17 billion! There you go. See, they're getting it over there now. It took a while to ripple across, but it got there. By the way, shocking science news that is unbelievable to all of you who are observing me now, but I'm actually one year younger than Brian Cox. Since I haven't danced among my fellow initiates, following a looped procession from woods at the edge of the village. So my main hope is that the response of the public to the big shocks and tumultuous nature of British politics, and I can talk about British politics in particular, you know, that, that this kind of brings us back to a kind of more stable equilibrium. Oh, look at you virtue signaling by not kicking that dog. Uh, signal. Uh, that was so bright, we believe it might have actually saturated the detectors on the telescope. Uh, and this is the so-called Lorimer burst. I just stand next to him, and as I stand next to him, I get older and older and older. Look at me, younger and younger and lovely. So far, I haven't seen one bum bag. They're back. They are genuinely back in real life, back in fashion. The bum bag, the fanny pack. It's happened, they've come back. I understand that history has to repeat itself, but do we honestly have to do the fashions again that we felt like a tool in the first time? Party popper. <laughs> This is it for 20 minutes, guys. <laughs> I did that voice when we did the 100th episode, and he went, you've made me to camp. Anyway, so the, um... So I, I tried some other voice. So then I turned him into Mark Gatiss for a while. And I just had him go, Farley, Farley, look at the supernova, Farley. But he didn't like that. A little embarrassing looking back at childhood. I noticed now as an adult, uh, all those little things I fell for as a kid when my parents used to lie to me to get me to do things they wanted. I'll give you an example. When I was a little kid, right, I always went to bed on time because my parents told me if I didn't go to bed on time, what would happen was, is I'd miss the start of the dream. <laughs> and then for the rest of the night, I wouldn't know what was going on. So... Then for a while, I had him just being in an Alan Bennett monologue, monologue just going, and I tried to explain to mother that Jupiter was a gas planet, but that... Just remind him of a woman down the road who's on a cabbage soup diet. You might be wondering why I'm dressed as a sausage. <laughs> That's because people think that you're a sausage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not a sausage. My name is Christopher and I went to university. Thank you. I'm not only going to speak about being gay though, I've got loads of going for me. I'm gay, I'm dyslexic, and I'm left-handed. Just, yeah, just a Catholic teacher's worst nightmare. That's, that's 
my life. So what I generally found out was that the audience I normally play to, they love ideas of feminism and scientific advance, but they don't like the idea of walking for it. My name is Neil, I am 28 years old, which I'm aware is a bit of a weird thing to do. Come up here and almost immediately announce my age. But apparently I don't look it. So I still get out of even Tesco quite a lot. Which for me is just another social interaction that I could do without. Spring watch on every other planet in this solar system is very dull. It's very, very boring. It's just Chris Packham in the central spaceship at spring watch going, have you seen anything on Mars, Kate? Nothing. Nothing at all. A hint of microbial life which merely turned out to be an imprint from my trainers. Nothing. How's Bill Oddie? Dead on Venus. Why put Piggy Smalls, hot dogs, pulled pork, dirty fries and all that, next to the vegan and vegetarian stand? This is the weak point in my argument, so that's absolutely right. And if you don't like science, you can stick it up your f***ing arse.